Every weekday for one week, I would attend four hours of Spanish classes at La Calle Spanish School in Merida. My class was small, with only four of us, with Maestro Saul. Every evening for two weeks, my destination was the Zocalo, or Plaza Grande, right in the middle of the Centro Historico, which was always good for some interesting activities and people watching. If the one week and two weeks don't add up, it's because in the second week I changed language schools. Now let's just take a short walk down Calle 62, just off the Zocalo. The Spanish for street is Calle, so everything is a Calle. The ones which are even numbered go north-south, the odd numbers go east-west. That makes it easy for you to find your way around, until it doesn't. morning on my way to uh, language school, I would stop at this panderia because they had the best pain au chocolat. Well, that's French, but it's like a croissant stuffed with a bit of chocolate. It was delicious. Across the street, Italian coffee, a Mexican coffee shop, something very similar to Starbucks, but only in Mexico. 
like Starbucks, expensive. I usually bought my coffees at a convenience store called Oxo all over Mexico. At Oxo, you can get a large Americano for about $2.50 Canadian. That's about a dollar less than the Italian coffee company or Starbucks. <music> At this point, I'm just peeking into another amazing store. It's called Mundo Maya, and it's a competitor to the store I highlighted in the last vlog, and that was about Hacienda Sissel. Both specialize in the Katrinas and Mayan art. And the other thing that I learned to love in my first week was the Sopa de Lima, Sopa de Lima lime soup. It was great. It had quite a bit of chicken in it, quite nutritious. I loved it. One of the many specialties of the Yucatan. <laughs>